Los Angeles is a city of spectacle, home to Hollywood glitz, towering skyscrapers, and endless sunshine. But beneath its bustling streets and shimmering skyline lies an invisible threat, one that scientists say is not just likely, but inevitable. In the early hours of March 2, 2025, as the world's biggest stars left the Oscars after parties, the ground beneath North Hollywood trembled. Days later, another quake struck near Westlake Village. Though minor, these tremors sent a chilling reminder. Los Angeles is living on borrowed time. Seismologists warn that the San Andreas Fault is locked, loaded, and overdue for a catastrophic rupture. When will it strike? And more importantly, will the city be ready? History tells us that devastation is not a matter of if, but when. The 1994 Northridge earthquake killed dozens and caused billions in damages. Yet experts say an even more powerful quake could cripple the region. As these recent earthquakes shake the city's sense of security, one question looms larger than ever. Are they isolated events or ominous foreshocks of the big one? Let's find out. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. The March 2nd earthquake, which struck North Hollywood, was felt widely across Los Angeles, but did not cause any significant damage or injuries. The quake, occurring just after the conclusion of the Oscars ceremony, was a stark reminder that no event, no matter how grand, is immune to the natural forces shaping Southern California. The shaking was particularly noticeable in Universal City, Studio City, and other parts of the San Fernando Valley. Although magnitude 3.9 is relatively small compared to major earthquakes, its location in a densely populated urban area made it more noticeable and concerning for residents. A week later, on March 9th, another earthquake, this time measuring a magnitude 4.1, struck southwest of Westlake Village. While this quake was also not destructive, it reinforced the reality that seismic activity in the region is ongoing and unpredictable. Earthquakes of this magnitude are generally considered minor, but they serve as a stark reminder of the more powerful tremors that have struck California in the past. Given the history of seismic activity in the region, these recent earthquakes have prompted renewed discussions about preparedness and the potential for a far more catastrophic event in the near future. Los Angeles has a long history of destructive earthquakes. Some of the most infamous quakes in California's history include the 1906 San Francisco earthquake, the 1971 Silmar earthquake, the 1987 Whittier Narrows earthquake, and the devastating 1994 Northridge earthquake. The latter, which measured 6.7 in magnitude, caused widespread destruction, killed 57 people, and resulted in billions of dollars in damages. The Northridge quake demonstrated the extent to which Southern California is at risk and exposed vulnerabilities in the region's infrastructure, particularly unreinforced buildings, highways, and older constructions. The more recent Ridgecrest earthquakes of 2019, which included a magnitude 6.4 foreshock followed by a 7.1 main shock, served as another reminder that large earthquakes can strike California with little warning. While Ridgecrest is located farther from Los Angeles, these quakes demonstrated how powerful seismic activity can affect broad regions, causing widespread shaking even in distant metropolitan areas. Given this historical context, every earthquake, no matter how minor, is a reminder that Southern California is due for another major event. Los Angeles is one of the most seismically active regions in the world, largely due to its position near the boundary of two massive tectonic plates, the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate. These plates are in constant motion, shifting at an average rate of about 2 inches per year. While this movement is imperceptible on a daily basis, over decades and centuries, stress builds up along fault lines where the plates grind against each other. When the stress exceeds the strength of the rock, the stored energy is suddenly released in the form of an earthquake. At the heart of this seismic activity is the San Andreas Fault, an enormous fault that stretches over 800 miles through California. 
It marks the boundary between the two colliding plates, and as they slide past one another, they create significant tectonic strain. This fault is particularly dangerous because it is a strike-slip fault, meaning that the plates move horizontally against each other rather than pushing together or pulling apart. This sideways motion produces intense shearing forces, making the region prone to violent shaking. The San Andreas Fault has not experienced a truly massive rupture in Southern California for over 150 years, which is why seismologists believe it is overdue for a significant quake. The last major rupture on the southern portion of the San Andreas occurred in 1857 with the magnitude 7.9 Fort Tahan earthquake. Since then, pressure has been building along the fault, increasing the likelihood of a massive event. In addition to the San Andreas, Los Angeles is crisscrossed by numerous smaller but highly active faults, many of which run directly beneath heavily populated areas. The Newport Inglewood Fault runs beneath densely populated areas such as Long Beach and West Los Angeles. It was responsible for the 1933 Long Beach earthquake, which killed 120 people. The Hollywood Fault lies beneath some of the most valuable real estate in Los Angeles, including parts of Hollywood, where dense urban development has taken place. The Puente Hills Fault One of the most dangerous faults because it runs directly beneath downtown Los Angeles. A rupture along this fault could be catastrophic, causing the collapse of high-rise buildings and crippling the city's infrastructure. While the San Andreas Fault has the potential to produce a larger earthquake, some of these smaller faults are even more dangerous due to their proximity to heavily populated areas. With pressure continuing to build along multiple fault lines beneath Los Angeles, a major quake is inevitable. Scientists have long warned that Southern California is overdue for a massive earthquake, often referred to as the big one. This hypothetical earthquake, likely originating from the San Andreas Fault, could have a magnitude of 7.8 or higher, causing widespread destruction. A 2008 study by the U.S. Geological Survey modeled what might happen if a magnitude 7.8 earthquake struck along the southern section of the San Andreas Fault. The results were staggering. The study projected over 1,800 deaths, more than 50,000 injuries, and damages exceeding $200 billion. Essential infrastructure, including transportation, power, water, and communication networks, would face severe disruptions, making emergency response efforts even more challenging. Compounding the devastation, broken gas lines could ignite widespread fires, leading to further destruction. Such an earthquake would not only devastate Los Angeles, but would also impact San Bernardino, Riverside, and other regions along the fault. Given the city's dense population and aging infrastructure, the effects could be even worse than anticipated. The recent earthquakes have only heightened concerns that a major event is approaching. Seismologists have observed that stress along the San Andreas Fault continues to accumulate, and the longer the fault goes without a rupture, the more energy is stored. When it finally releases, the resulting earthquake could be catastrophic. The recent earthquakes in Los Angeles, though relatively small, serve as urgent reminders of the city's seismic vulnerability. The tremors in March 2025 were not destructive, but they highlight the ongoing tectonic activity beneath Southern California. With the San Andreas Fault overdue for a major rupture and other faults crisscrossing the city, the potential for a devastating earthquake is not just hypothetical, it is inevitable. Experts warn that the big one could strike at any time, causing widespread destruction and loss of life. While advancements in earthquake early warning systems can provide a few seconds of notice, Nothing can fully prevent the devastation that a magnitude 7.8 or greater earthquake would bring. Los Angeles must take these warnings seriously, improving infrastructure, enforcing stricter building codes, and educating the public about earthquake preparedness. The question is not whether a major earthquake will strike, but when. The recent tremors should serve as a wake-up call to ensure that when the inevitable happens, the city is as ready as possible.